Okay, the last tutorial got us up to a parking orbit, a uh, low Earth parking orbit, and the idea being we're going to come around and uh, do a prograde burn approximately at this point. But instead of just trying to estimate it, uh, we're going to do a maneuver. First of all, let's take a look at the view for escape plan, and it shows that we have uh, the need of 3,795 meters per second again at that point. Uh, on the right side, let's go forward, take a look at our plan, and forward again. You can see we're actually going to Mars. So let's back up here. Um, what we want to do is a maneuver. Uh, so I'm going to click View, Maneuver, plus sign for On. And I'm going to add what we wanted, which was 3,795. Oops. We'll get it. This is just to approximate. Now, we'll hit the date and we're going to swing it around to try and lay that as close as we can right on it. But you notice nothing's happening on the right side. And that, uh, the maneuver is not showing up. Normally it would, but it's not because uh, it's prioritizing the um, plan that we have. Now we know we've got a maneuver that's approximate, uh, at least approximating the velocity, but let's do this. We now go to our eject plan, we're going to go through all the variables, and we're going to kill them. And reset that one. Now we've taken away all the variables, and look what happened. The green line that shows up here is what would happen if we did the maneuver that we've just set up. So basically the whole process of setting up an eject plan was to get us to approximate a parking orbit that with a, a suggested velocity to give us the ability to set up a maneuver. It may seem the long way around, but it's much more accurate to do it this way. So let's go back and we're going to just play with our uh, velocity a tiny bit. We know that uh, currently it's showing that we're missing Mars. Uh, that we're at one point 257 giga meters. Um, play with the velocity up and down. Let's try a different amount. That's plus is making it larger, so we're going to go smaller. And we've got it up to now 50, 47, 43, 41. We're looking at our closest approach as we adjust this. Let's try the date. Actually, let's try something um, outward can affect date very much. So let's try and so that's not doing too much. Let's try a little bit of plane change. Normally you wouldn't want to do very much of this, but if it's mixed in with a huge prograde it's not so bad. So basically we've now just about nailed Mars. That's pretty close, at least for where we are now. So what we do is we hit our target. We want to advance the time. Now we're real time, and we want to rotate. We're rotating nose to the left. And to the right, the idea is bring that X centered like we would in all maneuvers. And we reduce the time and we're going to start burning when time is zero. And zero is happening now. We're burning. I'm going to warp ahead at uh, 10. We're going to watch our delta V drop. Getting close. Translation. 
and we use a little translation to clean up the uh, burn. And lateral. And delta V is pretty close to zero. We'll now turn off the uh, maneuver. On becomes off. And it shows we're not too bad. We're in the vicinity of Mars just with our eject. And um, I'm going to go ahead and warp forward and uh, pick up the next tutorial uh, where this happens to place us on a mid-course correction about oh, two-thirds or three-quarters of the way to Mars.